You know, sometimes I get a lot of really basic questions about the program, and it kind of tells me that a lot of people don't like to read the school websites and stuff, so I'm just going to summarize a bunch of pages in this video. Yo, so last video I asked you guys to ask me questions about the second year of the MedSci program, and thankfully, a grand total of zero questions came in. So why am I still doing this video? Well, that's because I'm an idiot, and let me explain. So this year in the program, you're supposed to take courses that make you eligible for modules or majors for your third year in your program. But it turns out I only took courses that make me eligible for one module. Well, basically two if you're counting the general interdisciplinary medical sciences, which is technically not a major because if you're majoring in multiple disciplines, then are you really majoring in anything? Probably not. It's the antithesis of a major. Yeah, I'm kind of stupid. But wait, it gets worse, because you're supposed to submit an intent to register, which is basically telling the school what module you actually want, and I made a mistake in that too. Basically, if your first choice is physiology, you can't choose physiology and pharmacology because they're the same thing. <laughs> so if you're not eligible for one of them, you're not eligible for the other programs that have the similar name. So physiology, pharmacology, and physiology slash pharmacology together, they're all under the same eligibility. So if you're not eligible for phys pharm, then you're not eligible for Fizz or Farm separately. Yeah, I'm kind of dumb. I remember in a past video, I was like, if I don't get Fizz, then I'll just go get Farm. And that is incorrect. So that's why I'm making this video. Sure. Um, I'm going for the Physiology and Pharmacology module. There's, I think I have a couple backups. I can't remember what they are at the top of my head. But Probably just Fizz separately. Yeah. <laughs> farm separately. Yeah, literally. <laughs> Now that I explained my stupidity, all the links for the information that I gathered are in the description below, including second year textbooks and stuff that upper years gave me, so I'm just passing it down to you guys. So if this video helps you, then smash the like button for the YouTube algorithm so you can keep it for future reference. And also share it with your friends that are also in the program because that helps too. For me and them. And by the way, timestamps are in the pinned comment down below. And now it's time for me to say some useful things. Basically, let's get right into the video. So here are some must-knows or rapid-fire facts for next year in MedSype. Well, I assume most of you are year two, so here's what you need to know. Please submit your intent to register. Because if you forgot in year one, you kind of got away with it because it's automatically assumed that you're going to year two. But if you don't submit an intent to register next year, they're just going to put you in an undeclared Bachelor of Arts for year three. So basically, please submit your ITR. Pretty simple, right? Some quick facts about next year as well are that you have to take a full course load to be eligible for year three. You need an average of 80% in your required courses that are the 2000 level, which is the year two level, with a minimum mark of 60% in each. So basically, if you don't think you can salvage a mark to at least a 60, then you should probably drop it if it's a term one course and just overload, basically take more than the full course load in the next term. You'd need to ask academic counseling for this. I don't really know the process specifically myself. All required courses must be completed before year three. So basically all the courses that are listed in one of the links that I provided down below. And also if you get lower than 60% in one requirement, you're allowed to take it in the summer and the average of the two attempts is what's used for your module average. And also you can't fail a prerequisite or a course that you take in the summertime between year two and three. And the averages that people talk about for modules is the average of the required 2000 level courses. So if more than 3.5 courses are required, the highest 3.0 credits are taken as the average. And the lowest average that would be admitted to year three is 75%. So basically, if you got an 80% average on your required courses for your module average, then you're pretty much guaranteed entry to year three. It's just that you don't have a guarantee that you'll get your top module choice, but you will get in. Anyway, that's it for the rapid fire facts. You can find more information about this in the description down below under MedSide 2 FAQs. It's basically from Western's websites. I'm just summarizing those bunch of links because there's a lot of them for you guys in this video. And here's some more frequently asked questions about intent to register. So what is the cutoff for honor specialization modules? So there really isn't a set average for these modules, but if you want past data, then that's in the description down below under the minimum required averages link. Moving on to the next question, what module should I choose? Well, I'd say that's really up to you, as cliche as that sounds. But if you want more module choices to choose from, then take a look at the chart for required courses that is in the description below. Because I don't want you to be like me and just take the required courses to be eligible for only like one module, two if you're counting IMS. So don't be lazy and take a look at the requirements and take whatever you need to be eligible for as many choices as you want to have. Don't worry, I wasn't really interested in that many modules. So it wasn't really a big deal for me to not have that much choice. But if you're not like me and you want more choice, then Go check out the link.
because that's important. The next question is, can you change your module if you don't like it? Yes, you can change your module in between year three and four just by submitting an ITR or intent to register just like how you did in year two. So you would select Schulich as the faculty and go from there. Basically, if you submitted an ITR for year two, you will know how to do that for year three. If you haven't finished all the foundation courses for that other module, then you may have to check in with the department representative. If they're willing to help you, they'll recommend you to the year four honor specialization module. And the next question is, what if I don't make it to year three medical sciences? Then they'll basically place you in the regular bachelor of science. It's not a big deal, to be honest with you. And when will you see the decision of whether or not you make it to the next year of the program? On the website that Western provides, link in the description as usual, it usually happens from early to mid-June. So if you want to check whether or not you got into the next year, you just go to your student center, go to view my grades and grade report. It will tell you once your grade report is posted. And the last question, because this year I've been complaining a lot and I was like, yo, I'm not going to go to school next year. But realistically, I probably will. But if you guys are not returning next year, then you just have to email the BSMUE office. So I provided the email right on the screen somewhere here just to let them know that you're not returning in September and did like to know why, but it's optional to describe the situation to them. But yeah, they will provide you steps to make sure that goes through smoothly. So yeah, hope that actually helps because sometimes searching through all the pages for this information can be a little bit more reading than most people like. And honestly, I get a lot of questions about really basic stuff sometimes, not pointing anyone out here, but it kind of tells me that people don't like to read these pages. So that's why I'm making this video. Anyway, that's about it for this video. If you have any more questions and leave them in the comments down below. Otherwise, the, all the links are in the description and timestamps are in the pinned comment as usual. And yeah, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to smash the like button and hit subscribe with post notifications on. And if it helps you, then share with a friend that's in the program. And yeah, that's about it. Enjoy your summer and yeah, that's it. See ya. So basically last week I got my vaccination shot and I was actually pretty fatigued the day after because I didn't get enough sleep since my dad was pretty sick after he got a shot like a week before me. So I didn't go back to sleep because he wasn't feeling well in the morning. And yeah, that's just a little update on how I'm doing. And also I made the decision to go back to school next year for year three. I don't know if I'll provide a description or video as to why I'm doing that. I will maybe, but when I have more time. Because right now I'm taking a summer school course for Japanese because I'm a weeb and I enjoy taking a course like that. It's pretty interesting learning another language and something outside of your usual science program for once, but that's just how it is. I wonder how many of you guys will be listening to this at the end of the video, but if you are around then comment something in the comment section that relates to this. And thanks for watching to the end. I'm really tired after recording that because it's pretty hot and I didn't sleep well last night. And yeah, that's it. Have a great day. See ya.